Well, students who protested here this afternoon are accusing Atherton police of using excessive force. More than 100 students and community members are marching through Atherton with a demand for police. No one should be treated differently from either their color, their skin, or just anything, whether it's like how they act or dress, no one should be treated differently. Everyone should be treated the same, whether it's being questioned first before getting pinned onto the ground. This video shows the arrest in question and is now at the center of both the protests and an ongoing investigation. It shows police arresting a black Menlo Atherton High School student Friday, but that seems to be the only thing the school and the students agree on. Students say there was no reason to force the teen face down on the ground especially since they say he recently had stomach surgery. Nora Acosta with the Black Student Union is one of the protest organizers. I feel like in my opinion they were doing too much because like um, either way they shouldn't have threw him on the ground like that because he just had surgery and that did really hurt him really bad. Rumors have swirled that the entire confrontation was over a water gun police were attempting to take away. But police and school administrators say that's not what happened. In a statement, Atherton police say the student had a water gun taken away from him earlier in the week and was in the school office demanding the water gun be returned. They say that's when the boy physically assaulted a school administrator, pushing him into a cubicle wall, spitting on him, and calling him homophobic slurs. They also say when they confronted the student off campus, he refused to comply with officer's orders and started walking away. And that's when an officer grabbed the boy's shirt, adding, the student continued to pull away from the officer's hold on his shirt and fell to the ground. Once on the ground, officers rolled the student onto his stomach and placed him into handcuffs. Officers used the least amount of force to detain the student. The DA is now reviewing the case and will have to determine whether to file charges. Police say those charges could include threatening a school official, battery on a school official, and assault, and a possible hate crime enhancement. The school principal also issued a statement confirming administrators called for police due to an interaction with a student that escalated to the level that our site team felt concern for their safety. Police say they are reviewing the incident to ensure that the officer's actions were in compliance with department policy. Reporting live in Atherton, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.